sauce. Got elf. Be my helper, Laloper. Yeah. How is this? Can you put these in order? One. Yeah. One. Two. Yeah, two. Three. No, four. Let us read this. Four down. No, I'm read that because that spells what? Nothing. It counts. One, two, three, four. Counting as numbers, spelling as the words. You'll get it eventually, dear. No, this smells a best. All right, are we ready to make Marion's Kitchen Kit number two? Thai red curry. Because we did the green and now it's time to do red. Sorry it took us so long. Right? Are we ready to do the next one? Yeah. 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 Let's do this thing. <clears throat> The beauty of it, so I prepped. I already got my chicken cut up. You can use chicken. We got beef, chicken duck. Pot. You can use this. Yes, um, we'll need those. This mixture is called chicken pot dye. Okay. And this mixture is called egg sauce. This mm. one's called egg yolk. This mm. one's called number two AM. <laughs> okay. This but. And then we have one cup of vegetables, and I have what I have. I have some red pepper, some green pepper, and some edamame. So this is going to be high protein power. So which one's not the spicy pepper? Um, this one's not the spicy, but we it is spicy, but we'll just use a little bit because you are not my spicy bud. But where's a dip not spicy bud? Wait, that one this is not spicy, the coconut milk. I oh, want the cool. coconut milk. Yes. And then we'll have to get some water, too, and then some... Herbs and bamboo shoots. Those oh, are not spicy. Uh, bamboo shoots? Bamboo shoots. Do you know who else likes to eat bamboo? What? Pandas. Are you like a panda bear? Yeah, I love them. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to move over to the stove. Let's take I red curry paste. So Try me first. Okay, I'm no. No, you're not a helper. You're a helper. I don't know. Help. A good helper. You're just a good helper. No, I'm Helper Loper. Helper Loper? Yeah, I was the reason why I call me Helper Loper. Coconut milk. See? Coconut milk begins with a C, like you. Cup, cup, coconut milk. Number no. two. There yeah. we go. Good job. Now we're going to pour it inside here. Oh, yeah. Coconut milk. Yeah. yeah. We're sauteing this. You see it's getting a little... You can see I measured really well. This so when be... we get to do the pepper and... Mmm, this smells good. The bamboo. The bamboo. I want to add the bamboo with me, okay? Okay, so do this. Next, add your creamy coconut milk and you one can, cup of water. You can actually eat bamboo grass, but you can't eat other right, grass. Ready? Here we go. Ooh. Look at that. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh. It's red. Red yeah. sea rising. Yeah, red sea rising. All right, now. So, look. So, Mom. Okay, now I, oh yeah, you want to help me cut these? Yeah, that's the bamboo. That's no, this is called the red herbs and chili. Oh, I, where's the bamboo? Is that one over there? Okay, I want bamboo. All right, here, I'm going to put these in. And you simmer it for how long? Simmer. That means little bowls, not big bowls. For, I don't know, for a little while. So we got to get this hot and simmered. We got to uh, cut the green for You just do a little bit. I'm going to teach you a trick. Can I teach you a trick? Yeah. All right, let go. Take your scissors out. Take yeah. your, and you, and then once you got a little bit, you can just tear it. Ready? <gasps> Woo! That's why you got to drain it. Uh, you got to drain Yep. Here, Cooper, you want a napkin? Here. I, I, I dare you to eat a bamboo shoot. Why? They're in there. Let's simmer. Simmer ba -bimmer. At least simmer so <gasps> Oops. And then everything will be done. Man, that's fast. The hardest part was cook cutting up all the vegetables. We're going to cook the chicken yet. I know. You're going to add the bamboo shoot and uh, then you add your meat. But you got to cook the meat? It didn't say. It says sliced chicken would be for... It didn't, didn't say if it was supposed to be cooked. That's um, fast. And yeah. then simmer for five more minutes. Unt or until your additions are cooked. And your addition is your meat. more videos. 
What video? So basically, um, make. There we go. Oh, actually, I need a bigger pan for this. Yes, you do. I guess I should have used the wok. I can say if you should cover it or not. I don't going to cover it. And I think this is going to take way longer than five minutes because I have raw chicken. So. So apprehensive on using that bread paste. I'm adding more red paste because I didn't think it tasted very salty, but I, it's already got spice, so I'm assuming that Cooper won't eat it. I should have cooked the chicken first. That's what she said. The green curry was way spicier than the red curry. You gonna do chopsticks? Yeah. You gonna chopsticks or fork? I will chopstick it. Miriam, we're gonna try it. And like I said, the difference was this time I used a whole package of the pert paste. Um, and then we're using chicken and... There. Some edamame and... Edamame and red peppers and green peppers. Mm. I, and I, I didn't, I don't care for the texture of my chicken. And so Eric and I were thinking about what we did last time that we liked. So a couple things. One, we used some frozen veggies, like frozen teriyaki mix. And Eric had taken the time to pre-cook our tofu. And I think that's what we should have done. I think we should have had the vegetables pre-cooked pre and the chicken pre-cooked. So you could get a nice crispy outside. And it also would have, because um, they're, they're actually a little bit rubbery, because in essence what we did was kind of boil them. Boiled chicken. Boiled chicken inside the thing. They don't taste bad, but they're, not super flavorful. Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, Miriam, I wanted to know what you think, if maybe that's what we should have done. And it wasn't that clear on the package. The package said just to cook. It didn't say pre-cook your meat. your meat or veggies, and just said cook till done at the end. So maybe we should uh, just tweak the directions a little. Other than that, it oh, definitely yeah. is fast. And um i obviously would probably never make this on my own so the only ever time we've ever done it is at a restaurant so um it's good all right thanks